And welcome back. Let's take a look at where we're, we're seeing the severe weather as of right now in the south and southwestern portions of the viewing area. Two active severe thunderstorm warnings. We have one uh, in west central Stutzman County. That's in effect until 1045. And another one in southwestern Barnes County until 1045. You could see 60 mile per hour wind gusts and uh, quarter size tail with both of these. We're also tracking a strong storm in southern Griggs in northwestern Barnes County. Uh, uh, that is capable of producing nickel sized tail and 40 mile per hour winds. Let's take a look at uh, all of these as of right now. And uh, we are seeing, we saw some large hail size with these up to a half dollar size. The good news is they have been starting a, a weakening trend. We're seeing uh, some light blues on the map. That's indicative of uh, nickel sized hail. But uh, over the last hour or so, we've seen some yellows on the map, and that is indicative of over quarter sized hail. So here's where the, uh, the uh, risk of hail is right now just off to the north of Medina, the north of the Wimbledon area, and uh, say south and east of Jamestown and south and west of Valley City as you approach the Litchville area. So again, we have two active severe thunderstorm warnings, uh, both in effect uh, in, well, one of them is, uh, yeah, both in effect until 1045. That is for west central Stutzman County and southwestern Barnes County. Again, capable of producing inch hail and 60 miles mile per hour winds. Now, making our way further north, we are seeing the uh, just some light rain showers up in this direction, and uh, we are seeing a cold front making its way through the viewing area as of right now, giving us those storms, and we're tracking another one that will make its way through for the day tomorrow. This low and this warm front could give us more severe weather for your Sunday evening. Let's take a look at what we're looking at right now. Temperatures into Lakes Country and the Southern Valley near that 70 degree mark. Cooler air into the Devil's Lake Basin and James River Valley with uh, temperatures into the upper 50s and lower 60s and wind speeds mainly uh, 5 to 15 miles per hour flipping around to a northerly direction with dew points ahead of the front into the lower to mid 60s. So scattered thunderstorms will be possible anytime overnight until around daybreak when we start to clear out and then we will spend most of the day on Sunday mainly calm. We're tracking the severe weather entering our viewing area between 6 and 8 p.m. and moving through possibly strong to severe as we go through the evening hours. Now let's take a look at that seven day forecast and that lasts until the early morning hours on Monday and then we really cool off into the upper 60s for Tuesday. Another chance of some rain showers in the morning. Sunny on Wednesday a high of 78, 80 on Thursday as we dry out for midweek. Then for Friday, another chance of some showers and thunderstorms with a high of 83 degrees. So get ready for those storms, but it sounds like some have been moving into our viewing area tonight. Too. Yeah, we're seeing some storms tonight and then another chance for Sunday evening of some uh, st uh, strong to severe storms. Okay, thank you, Justin. Mm -hmm. In tonight's Healthier Me, cutting carbs might also be cutting years off of your life. A new medical study suggests that low-carb diets could be taking up to four years from your lifespan. Valley News Team's Katie Opperly joins us in the studio with more from this study and what it takes to stay healthy. Katie? That's right, Melanie. Research done by the Lancet Public Health Medical Journal has good news for carb lovers. It says the low-carb diet craze does not promote a healthy lifespan, and some carbs just might be the answer. I reached out to Sanford Health for more. There's going to be the three main macronutrients, which are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Your body needs all of them. Casey Bureau with Sanford Health says there's some truth to the latest study claiming low-carb diets are linked to early death. With the low carb diets, you're really missing out on vital things such as fruits, vegetables, and the whole grains because those are going to have carbs in them and a lot of people will limit those when doing low carb diets. Researchers said people who ate moderate amounts of carbohydrates lived an average four years longer than those with low carb consumption. Carbohydrates are going to be your body's main energy source. They're going to give you that energy to keep going throughout the day. That's why the majority of your intake should come from carbohydrates. In fact, it's recommended that 50 to 60 percent of the foods you eat should be carbohydrates, but it isn't all about the carbs. It really is looking at all the different food groups, making sure you're incorporating those into your daily lives, making sure you're getting in enough of those fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, dairy, all of those things. Bureau says cutting carbs can lead to mineral deficiencies, but also cutting any macronutrient can be harmful. She says there's no shortcut when it comes to a healthy lifestyle. There's nothing that you have to cut out 
or eliminate from your diet in order to live a healthy lifestyle. It's just making sure you're doing it in the right portions. In Fargo, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. Casey Bjort also says fad diets are often not sustainable and can even lead to weight gain once these foods are reintroduced. She says people should learn to eat the correct portions and make sure to exercise regularly. Melanie. Okay, thank you, Katie. We will have a link to the study on our website. You can go to valleynewslive.com and click on this story. And joining us now with sports is Alex, and you have all kinds of sports action for us. Yeah, we certainly do. It is football time mm -hmm. uh, across the country, really, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll tell you about a very big game that's happening one week from today. That's next in sports.